I'm Sean Clark, I'm an author from Saltcoats, which is a small town in the west coast of Scotland. My book is called Hunter Rises. Yeah, that's, that's that bad boy there. Uh, originally, Hunter Rises was titled Crest Mother Wash the Unkey, but it was a very weak title. We had a lot of readers uh, complaining and they were quite confused as well. You know, what's a Crest Mother, what's a Unkey? So after doing some market research and getting some feedback, the decision was made to rebrand and republish the book. Uh, it's still the same story, you know, it's, it's quest fantasy at its core, uh, where, you know, your, your main character meets another group of characters and they go on a journey to save the world. Not just a physical journey, of course, but an emotional journey as well. Uh, so it's, it's very much coming of age. I grew up uh, playing RPGs like Final Fantasy VII, you know, again with the, the, the party, you know, the, the party and friends all joining together to, to save the world. Um, I loved that, you know, I, I loved all the ca ca camaraderie uh, in the books, I thought it was great, you know, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, the Tolkien books, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, you know, just absolute genius, you know. Uh, and when I wrote my own book, I wanted to incorporate a lot of real life elements, you know, so I took elements from the Scottish political landscape at the time uh, and other things as well, uh, and, you know, combined it all together. Um, so that was all my inspiration, yeah. I love everything about writing, absolutely everything. You know, it's, it's hard, but it's also very rewarding. You know, well, it's, it's lovely to have somebody next to you who is, you know, pushing you, driving you, motivating you, ultimately. When you sit down at your laptop or your desktop or with your pen and paper, however you choose to do it, it's just you and your your mind. You know that's it. You have to get the creative juices flowing. You bounce ideas, you know, uh, and you have to visualise everything. It's it's very good for the soul. You know, um, it's very good for the brain. Um, I love it. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Trust your own process. There's a lot of advice online, uh, some of it good, some of it bad, but there's also very, you know, this is how you must tell a story, you must do it like this. And it's not like that, you know, because every single writer has a different process. Uh, some people write from beginning to end, others will start at the end, go back to the beginning. Write scenes out of order, you know, it's, it's all different. Uh, and it's important that you recognise that you have your own process, because if you trust your own process, and you put in the work, then you will get to where you want to be, you'll, you'll have a finished novel, you know, um, and, and that's how books get written. My books are available in Kindle, paperback, hardback and audio, and you can get them, you know, Amazon, Waterstones, Barnes & Noble, uh, Kobo, there's, there's too many to get through. At any good online bookstores, you know, if you're looking for the audio version, it would be Audible or iTunes. Um, but do yourself a favour and pack up a copy because it's a very good story, don't make me say so. <laughs>